Warning, the following playthrough contains sexual themes involving a senpai with large breasts who really loves her kohai. This playthrough will contain sexual harassment as well as needless moments of extreme fan service, which may or may not be harmful to certain viewers. If you're okay with this, continue the video. If not, go watch something else. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, Aki here, and welcome back to Black Senpai Episode 3. Um, yeah, let's, let's begin. I, we just got the key to downstairs, right? Yeah, I think so. Let's go. Open. Ho ho ho. Seems to be an underground waterway, doesn't it? If we do this right, perhaps we might be able to get outside from here. Eh. It'd be unthinkable from, for this waterway to only go under the, ma the mansion, right? So you're saying we're going to go through a sewer like this on purpose? It's not a sewer. Is there any other path? There doesn't seem to be, but let's head forward. There's a shiny over there. I want it. I want the shiny. Give me the shot, senpai. Just a moment ago, didn't you hear something? No, not really. I see. It's fine then. Is it the violin there in the back? Let's go get the shiny. Shiny, 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 shiny. Obtained handcuffs. Oh my god, of course. Are we gonna get into some SM stuff? Oh. When I decided to make a wine cellar partway into its construction, I unbelievably came across some underground waterways. I thought they were sewers, but when I asked the water department, it turned out that there was none registered here. The flowing water was clean, but sewage. Not sewage, it was usable for a cellar, but some unease remains about the temperature and the hygiene. That wasn't all. Items I've gathered became lost before I knew it. There's something lurking in this underground waterway, and it's not a small animal like a mouse. It was clearly one with intelligence, but I am not sure it is human. In order to investigate more about this unknown being, I prepared several tests in order to measure its intelligence. With this, I should at least know something. With the various strange events happening around the mansion, uh, around the mansion, also something that was leaked out from this underground water. God, grammar is kind of weird. Wine bottles. Oh, there's a, there's a code. One twelve one 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 two. Is this the? Fibonacci sequence or something? It's not, is it? Okay, well, we got a code. We need to get a three number code. Ooh, what's in here? The box lid is being held in place by a screw. What's this over here? What? what? Oh, there's a shiny. Obtained a driver. Ahead is probably the path to above ground. Why is that? Because we climb stairs, right? We certainly have climbed, but it might not necessarily be the exit, right? Perhaps so. Who knows? Ooh. I no longer see the maid around here. It doesn't seem like she has exited the mansion. <coughs> Perhaps she might have been pulled in by the darkness of this underground waterway. I also saw a strange shadow yesterday. There's something strange with this underground waterway. Even as I continued my search, I found only her shoes. I'll need to find her quickly. I can't be without her. Uh -huh. Miss Maid. Okay, we 
got a screwdriver so we can do that obtain memo number two items memo two 2531 oh oh no senpai What's with this code? I don't know. Do you know, Senpai? Do you have a hint? Want one. English. The first letters... The first letters of numbers in English. One, two... Oh! One, two... Wow, that is so simple! Two... Three... I passed that. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, really? Thanks, Senpai. According to that diary like piece of writing, seems so. This here seems to presume knowledge of something very particular, doesn't it? Even though it said, I am not sure it is human, this is a kind of thing that non humans wouldn't be able to solve. Well, if this was solved, it would increase the likelihood that it was actually a human, right? <sighs> Whatever the case, it's still quite crude, isn't it? Crude. The way it's set up seems quite naive. What was it? Something unknown lurking in the underground waterway, right? This is... This here was clearly meant for us to solve, don't you think? Though it doesn't seem like that person worked hard at creating an appropriate atmosphere around here for that. What do you mean? It seems all too intentional. And there's also documents explaining the scene and setting in plain sight. If you assume what those documents say, then why have these puzzles been left here unsolved? Perhaps they put, they've been put back after being solved or something, with the thing that was inside still left there. Senpai? There's been something strange with this ever since a little while ago. No, there's been something strange even before then, but... What if I use my handcuffs? I have handcuffs. Blindfold and handcuffs. Sexually harass. Nah. Save. I have handcuffs and blindfolds. Oh, let me look at the memos. Star equals four. Two, five, four, three, one. Two, five, four, three, one. Five, four, three. Seems like we're supposed to put in the continuation of the sequence written nearby. Oh. One. 12, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, a clock, eh? There was also one that rang near the entrance, right? Still don't get it. The sounds of the bell of a cuckoo or a wall clock, it rings 12 times at 12 o'clock. There's one o'clock after that, but before that it rings once at 12.30. All you need to do is input the sequence following this rule, I think. Ah, so a clock also rings at the half hour? It does, don't you know? No, I don't know. Three, zero, one. <sighs> the sounds of the bell of a cuckoo or wall clock. It rings 12 times at 12 o'clock. There's one o'clock after that, but before that it rings once at 12.30. If you need to do... All you need to do is input the sequence following this rule, I think. Ah, so a clock also rings at the half hour? It does, don't you know? I don't get it! Senpai! It's quite a lot of free time, perhaps. Are those boxes with passcodes something sold on the market? Well, perhaps they're like safes. I don't get it. You guys have to go see the clocks?
Lay clock. Clocky clock, where are you, clock? Mr. Clock. Clock seems to be. Oh my god, this isn't even helpful. Oh yeah, I still have to dig up something in the backyard, don't I? Oh my gosh. Okay. I remember there's no clock up there, there's just something to plug in. So. Um. Um. solve this. I'm gonna go find out how to solve it. Be right back. I'm back and uh, this is the code. I have no idea how I would have known that. I know nothing about clocks pretty much. Card key. This is also a puzzle that requires prior knowledge. I'll just wait a little. If these have been prepared for us to solve then it was also assumed that we'd come here underground, wasn't it? In other words, it was also assumed that the safe would be opened. Meaning that puzzle attractions have been set up from the beginning to end, haven't they? Perhaps it might have been better to have gotten what was inside the safe. So, do you think up to now... Everything up to now has been set up by the owner of this mansion, right, Chico? That would be a reasonable way to think about this. But if you consider everything here as the work of a human, then some inexp inexplicable things remain? Perhaps so, and if there are some, do that made. If it were me, I'd set up surveillance cameras in various places. However, even though I carefully searched around, I haven't found anything that looked like one. Though they may have been very skillfully hidden. No, there are no surveillance cameras. Is that really so? Yes. She would know. That's my senpai. You're a very good senpai. Can I put you on the table? Sounds so weird out of context. Okay, let's put you on the table. Ah, oh, never mind. It's already been done. Kun, you don't know the passcode? I think that it's a matter of order, but the memos you got from the boxes are hints for this, right? I also know that, but the one to the very first. Oh! Okay. 25431. So, 25431. What? Oh, the one to the very right. Okay. Two, five, four, three, one. Are you serious? Dang it. The one to the very right is one, so perhaps you just need to follow the numbers as written. That's what I'm doing! Two, five, four, three, one. Are you serious?
uh, I tried doing it backwards. I don't. I got the memos. Two five. The star equals four. Three one. I put that in. That doesn't work. Senpai, you're not helping me. I tried putting it in backwards. That didn't work either. Help me, Senpai. Help me. Two. One is all the way to the right, okay? That's two. This is five. Four. Three. One. And it doesn't work. Now I'm gonna go backwards. One. Damn it. One. Three. Four. Five. Two. And that doesn't work. Two, five, three, one, four. Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> the memos don't help out. Four, two, five, three, one. Nope. Okay. Okay, I give up. I'm gonna be right back. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> okay, ready for this? One, two. One, two, three, four. I, I forgot, I forgot already. Um, two. Five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. No, that's not right. There we go. Stupid puzzle. If the series of attractions in the mansion and underground waterway were set up by the mansion's owners, there are still some points that remain a question. First of all, would it have been alright for just anyone to have been caught like this? Was I chosen by chance? And the contents of the safe? I didn't quite check, but was it all real? If it were real, did they think it was alright for that to be stolen, or that it could have been stolen? Or perhaps, was it a trap, and after it, having it stolen, they intended to take it back? There are also several other possibilities, but it can all be explained with one hypothesis. This can't be the end, right? Senpai? Reichikun? What is it, Reichikun? Before going out of here, there's still several questions that still haven't been cleared up. Is it something important? I... <clears throat> Not quite, but... Just that, I thought it'd be good if we were made clear for now. It was you, wasn't it, Senpai? The series of attractions in this mansion were all set up by you, Senpai, wasn't it? Wait a minute... You've averted your eyes, haven't you? In the first place, it was weird from the beginning how you arrived at the flyer's address with only f seen only with a glance, with almost no time difference from me riding a bicycle. How you had so little restraint when searching through the mansion. I certainly thought that something was up when you said to go in the bath because it had been warmed, and also how your advice for the puzzle seemed quite made up. Some of those things you said were quite flimsy in logic. Though, it was quite normal for the things you'd say, Senpai, so I didn't quite feel much discomfort at that. But this Senpai is, strangely enough, supporting the account of what supposedly happened at this mansion, always adding some follow-up whenever some inconsistency is pointed out or questioned about. The maids and the mansion's owner's diaries were prepared by you, Senpai, weren't they? The part-time job flyer that started this all was also something that you mailed to my home directly, I suppose. I don't quite know what's the goal of all this, but... Oh, I wanted to be the- Oh, 
that's so cute. I want to be together with you, Reichiku. Reichiku, you seem to have been avoiding me recently. So I want a time when we could be together. I want a time when we could be together, just the two of us. So you made this large scale setup? I was hoping for some kind of suspension bridge effect kind of thing to happen. Were the codes and puzzles also by Senpai? In front of you, Reichiku, while wander wandering over the puzzles, I thought I were then to give some appropriate advice because I might be able to show how cool I can be. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Senpai, surprisingly, you don't tell lies, do you? If I think about it, I do feel that there were some points of conversations that gave yourself away. The contents of the safe was what I intended to be the least. I could offer for making you go along with this though. Ah, now that you say that, you did say that you had a fortune of 7 million yen, but... 700 million yen, sorry. You meant this mansion, didn't you? I meant the contents of the safe. The contents of the safe alone are 700 million yen. The value of the mansion itself has never been assessed, so I don't know how much that is. Ah. Other than that, I also put in a few things that give surprise, like one would find in a haunted house. Deciding on the timings, I tried various things, but... Huh? I get the feeling that there was also something like that. Something like hanging a thin black piece of cloth and making its shadow look like a ghost, right? It was pretty much all everything I decided on my own for myself, wasn't it? I really did play a lot. Do you dislike me now? No, not really. Can't really say I dislike or, or really... I see, is that so? Reichikun, you also like me, don't you? And so our love is mutual? Uh, saying that much is still sort of... I really like you. I really like you, Reichikun. You see, Senpai? Well... It was fun in itself. I'm glad. Let's head back now, Reichiku. <gasps> Are we gonna hold hands? Even simply by being together to go back home with you, Reichikun, like this. Oh god, I said that all weird. Feels rewarding. <coughs> uh, you see, Senpai, something like this is sorta. I'm reflecting on it. Even if you didn't go this far, you would have been beside me. Ah, well, about that. It's not as if I was really avoiding you, Senpai, or saying you're my servant, that's. I am Reichikun's servant. That, at least, doesn't change. But, well, you see... Alright, alright. Speaking of which... You're looking for a part-time job, aren't you, Reichikun? Though, if you want money, I could give it to you. That's not it. I want to earn it myself. I see. You're also at that kind of age, aren't you, Reichikun? Then I'll introduce you to a good part-time job. I get a fad... Uh, uh. I get a bad feeling about this, but... Oh... Oh ho ho... A part-time job cleaning here, what do you think? It feels painful making you work, Reichikun, but like this, we'll be able to keep on being together. First would be the interview, right? Well, that's it. That was Black Senpai. That was it. Really? That was it? Huh. Output in sexual harassment log text? <laughs> okay, um, well, I guess that was Black Senpai, guys. Fairly short game. I do believe it's kind of overhyped. Uh, I mean, it was a fun little short game. Uh, pretty funny, too. The puzzles were kind of annoying. But Senpai helped us out. <coughs> um, yeah, I mean, there wasn't really much horror in that, I guess. I didn't get everything, though. I'm pretty sure I didn't get everything. 
So if you guys want me to go back and play this, I'll, I'll do it. But uh, other than that, that was it. That was Black Senpai. It wasn't too amazing, but it was a fun little ride. So if you guys ever want to try this yourself, sexually harass Senpai, go ahead. I'll leave a link in the description to the download link. Other than that, thanks for sitting down watching me play Black Senpai. This is Aki. Have a great day and remember to always stay safe.